BOOM! Oh, fuck. Are you watching basketball instead of doing our tax declaration? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I'm not watching basketball. I'm just uh, making some some watch up on Wikipedia because this tax stuff is so complicated. So you know that we need it soon. Yeah, I will. I will finish it soon. Before we talk about how to build such a panic button, we should have a look what is inside. Cool, it's just a pie pico and a button, so we can build it within some seconds, so let's go! For the housing of the panic button, I know that I have an old wooden box just laying around because I just have put a wrong hole inside. So don't be like me and think before you do something. But this time I can use it because I can just use the hole for putting the cable inside and make a new for the button for panic mode. So, software and electronics done. Quite simple, or next thing will be simple too. We go for software. What we do is that we use a Pi Pico for sending keyboard commands to our computer and all we have to do is configure the computer that it interprets the commands correctly. So, let's jump in and do it. So, the first thing we do is go for the CircuitPython website, click on Downloads, Pico, and there you download the UF2 file. Afterwards, you go for the library and search for the library source bundle for Python. And then you connect your Pico by pressing the button and your computer will detect your Pico as a drive or as a storage device. There you copy the UF2 file in the root folder of your Pico and then the Pico will restart. After that you go for the library and extract the library and then you open it and go for the HID library. So it's called Ada HID. And then when you copy and paste it to the lib folder of your Pico. When this is done you open the website you want to get rescued to and just copy the link of it to your desktop drive or wherever you like to. And then you go for the properties of that one and go for the short K, shortcut K. And here you press just the W and say OK and apply to it. After that you open the Tony and just go to tools, options to set the interpreter and check that the circuit Python is selected and say OK. And now we go for my GitHub side and just download the code we need. We do this by just copy pasting it to the Tony or you can download the code as well as you like to. And here we just paste it and say save as and save it to the Pico and then we just give it the name main.py and that's it. Then we hit enter and everything is running. Now you can try if it's working. So now we are finished with our little small cool project, the panic button. So if you liked the video, here's some more and see you next time. Goodbye.